Hey guys, Peter Hurley here. I'm a portrait photographer in New York and I'm all about teaching you guys how to look better in front of the camera. I got tips up the wazoo and we got a really good one for you today. It's the third in a series that I've done. You might remember, unless you've been living on a rock, you've seen it's all about the jaw. It was my first one that I ever did. Second tip was it's all about the squinch. No deer in the headlights pictures for me. None of that, you gotta give them the little squinch. Now today, we're up to our third video. So what are we doing? It's called, Hold Your Sub. All right guys, so I have brought Angel in to help me illustrate my point. All right guys, so I got Noel here. So now I've got Pamela here and she's gonna help us out. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Now we gotta talk about where to put arms when you're getting your picture taken. Where do most people put arms when you get your picture taken? I'll tell you right now, right there. They put them on the hips. This is a terrible place to put your arms. You know what it does? It makes you look three times wider than you actually are. You put your hands on your hips, it's not a good thing. So if you're gonna put your hands on your hips, I suggest that you just stick your hands in your pockets if you had them and go elbows back because it gets the elbow further back. But we're gonna amplify this. We're gonna even show you a little magic. We're gonna mix it up a little bit. So Angel, I want you to put your hands on your hips. Now that's gonna make you wider. Now just drop your hands down, much better. Drop your hands. Now. I want you to do this. I want you to act like you are holding a sub, a submarine sandwich. There you go. Bring your elbows in, bring your hands out, keep going out, 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 right there. What we're doing is we're streamlining our arms to the camera and we're creating a, some sort of trajectory situation. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're taking this area and we're just opening it up to slim down our arm. And that's a key element whenever you're taking a picture of yourself. It is a six foot sub. It is not a small sub. This is a wide sub. We gotta hold the sub, but you gotta hold it wide and you gotta keep your elbows in. Boom. Now you really gotta get it going. You're gonna hold your sub. Wow. Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. So I just wanna show you the actual pictures as I took them. So here's Angel. Hands on hips, not good, very big, very wide, not good, especially for headshots, close-ups, you don't wanna do none of this action, no, wider, no, streamline them, get them skinnier, boom, hands down. Not bad, not bad, but let's shave those arms off a little bit by holding the sub. Boom, shakalaka, right there, look at that, from there to there. Just shaving off like an inch on each side, this is amazing, look at that, look at that move, that is a major move. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, so here's Noelle. Here she is. We got Noelle now. Uh, obviously, hands on hips, not good. Not looking wide, broadening out that frame. Not good, not good. Hands straight down. Not bad, a little better, but let's, let's shave off that extra inch. Boom, right there. There it is. Take it off, just boom, just shave it right down. That's your move. Hold your sub, people, hold it. Hold your sub. Now, oh. Here's Pamela. Okay, get those arms down. Still okay. There it is. Shave off that extra inch by holding the sub. There it is. Now I got a couple other of my friends in here that I that I photographed. This is Tara. Tara's got her arms, hands on her hips too. Here's the hand straight down. Watch this. Boom, shakalaka. There it is, guys. Holding the sub from from here to here. From here to look at those arms. Look at that action. Look at that action. All right, here's Taryn. Hands on hips, no, arms down, better. But let's shave that little inch off on both sides. Boom, there it is. There it is, people. Now, isn't that what we want? There it is, go out, go hold your sub. And by the way, I don't want you to have to think that you have to hold your sub the entire time. If you get this move down, you can do it. Where If we're shooting a close up, you're obviously gonna be cut off so you can hold your sub and your hands can be out. But let's say you're not doing a close up. Let's say you're a little further back. You can drop those arms. I'm gonna show you how to hold the sub and drop the arms. Okay, so now you've, you know how to hold your sub, right? You got your move, you got your sub, you're out. Somebody's taking a close up of you or you're doing a selfie, you're holding your sub where you're 
crop in your body so you can't see your arms out like this, right? Random passers-by will see that and you will have to contend with that with the embarrassment of holding your sub and it will look strange and unusual, but it's worth it. It's worth every bit of it because you're gonna shave that inch off your arms, right? So you're gonna do that. But now, let's say we're doing full body. You don't wanna be in the picture like this. All you wanna do is very simple. You wanna, you're gonna take about a half inch off by doing a simple twist. You're gonna to, to twist. You're twisting. So you're just twisting that arm to streamline it with the camera. Twist. And then you don't have to worry about your arms up. You're just doing a little twist. And then you're in business. So hold your sub. And when you're doing full body, throw in a little twist. So guys, up till now, I've only shown you this on women, right? Works just as well on guys. Guys want to look good. They want their arms to look jacked. I've been working out. I want my arms to look good. Hands on hips, not as cool. It's okay. Hands down, all right, but watch this. Watch this. We get a little bit of arm action. I'm going to roll up my sleeves here, show off the guns, drop the arms down. Eh, it's okay. But let's raise the sub. Boom, shaka laka. We're all shooting selfies out there, aren't we? And we all want to look good, and we want our arms to look good. But guess what? We got to hold the camera in one hand, right? Doing a selfie, you got to hold the camera in one hand. Well, guess what you're doing with the other hand? And then there you go. Oh yeah, and that's what I'd be calling a shebang. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. It's been awesome. I gave you a little tip that's gonna go a long way. I want you to use this anytime you're in front of a camera, you wanna make your arms look better. It's the way to go, it's amazing. And this is what I do. I make people look better in front of cameras. So if you wanna get better pictures, you can come to me or you can go, I have a whole crew. I got the headshot crew. These guys are worldwide and they and I coach them and they know my tips. They know how to make you look better. So go on headshotcrew.com and click find a photographer and find one near you. And if you're a photographer out there, you better sign up for my 30 day free trial and get in on my coaching so you know these tips and you can up your game. That's what it's all about anyway, isn't it? That's what we wanna do. Thanks for watching. And I'm gonna end with a three, two, one. Shoop.